Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite drugstore makeup products. There are so many things I absolutely love from the drugstore makeup related. If I talked about everything I loved, this video would be 78 hours long. So these are the things that I need in my collection at all times. At all times. And this video is a special one because it is a collab with Amelia Liana here on YouTube. She lives in London and she is so perfect and I love hearing her talk and she's so beautiful and she has the best accent in the world and this is the worst, worst, worst imitation of a British accent but I'm just trying to speak like her but it's impossible. What was that? I cannot do this accent. Let me stop. She lives in London and she has beautiful hair and there's something about her videos that is very very soothing. She's very classic, like she has a very classic look and I just really love her channel. So once you're done watching this video, make sure to go check out her top 10 drugstore makeup products. And I think this video is going to be beneficial to a lot of people because we are both in two completely different countries. So certain things that I, she can get in the UK I can't get here so it's gonna be cool to see which products she mentions so I'm gonna link her channel and her video down below so make sure you go and subscribe because I just absolutely love her videos and her voice okay okay so if you watch my channel this is gonna be no surprise to you but my first product is or are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. These are my all-time favorite drugstore concealers in the entire world. I love these because you can use them underneath your eyes and on blemishes as well. They do crease a little bit so you have to set them with a powder if you're going to use them underneath your eyes. But they have enough coverage and they're super creamy and hydrating. I have really dry skin so I need something that isn't going to dry up my skin. And these don't dry them up. But they also work on top of blemishes as well because the coverage is pretty decent. I love them and they're not expensive at all and they're really comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I actually have uh, the NARS Creamy Concealer and I rarely use this because I think these are just as good and they're so much cheaper than this. Okay, so I have just started getting into blushes so much more than I used to. I used to hate blush, but now I kind of like it. I kind of love it to be honest. Um, and the best blushes I've ever found at the drugstore are the Milani Baked Blushes, specifically Luminoso. I think out of all the blushes I own, this is definitely top three out of all of them because it is so gorgeous. It is a peach color, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it and it just makes your skin look like it is glowing. It's the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I didn't put too much, but it is beautiful. It's perfect for the spring and summer. It's not spring or summer now, but I put it on for the sake of this video. But I use it a lot in the summertime and it's very, very pigmented because it is a baked product. I highly recommend this blush, even over high-end blushes, I recommend this blush. It's amazing, all of the baked blushes. I highly recommend them. So the next product is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. I get my Jordana products at Walgreens, and I think they also sell Jordana at Kmart, but I haven't seen them anywhere else. This is the best mascara ever. I used to hate it. Like, I'm talking about, like, hate it. It was in a products I regret buying video. I hated it. But I just realized I wasn't using it correctly. I used to pack on the mascara like layer after layer after layer after layer. But this mascara just needs two thin coats and you have amazing lashes. If you're into lengthening lashes, then I wouldn't go for this. If you like that va va voom volume, then yes, pick this up. It's a $2 mascara. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of drugstore mascaras and it is so good, it's so good. Okay, so I love drugstore foundations. Very rarely do I branch out and get high-end foundations. I do have a couple of high-end ones, but the majority of my foundation collection is drugstore. I just think they're, they have a lot of really good ones at the drugstore, but the one that I found is the absolute best out of all the ones I've tried is the Revlon Color Stay. I get the one for normal to dry skin. They have one for oily skin, but I personally think this one is the best. Mine is all jacked up. Um, this is my summer shade. I love it. This is 250 Fresh Beige. It's the perfect undertone. I continue to repurchase this color because it just looks good with a self tan. It gives such a beautiful finish. It's like a natural satin, a little bit matte, but it's more of like a natural finish. And it lasts forever. I wear this in the daytime and then it'll last all through the night. 
It does have SPF 15, but I don't find that it looks terrible in flash photography. I do recommend setting this with a powder, but once you do, it's perfection. And the best part is, is that it is full coverage, but doesn't feel heavy. Okay, so this next product is actually really new to me. I just included it in my October favorites video. But I want to talk about it because of the formula. This is the Jane Cosmetics Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Inspire. This one is great for fair skin, but they have like five different colors. Five or four different colors. But I want to mention it because it's the best formula I have found at the drugstore. I like foundations where I love drugstore foundations. I'm a sucker for high-end bronzer. But this Jane Bronzer is great. The formula is so easy to blend. It will never make your skin look dirty because it just blends effortlessly. It's like a foolproof bronzer. And these bronzers are very, very pigmented. And they smell like absolutely nothing. If that matters to you, they don't have a weird scent. It's just an overall amazing bronzer. Doesn't feel like drugstore, it feels like luxury high-end. And I get Jane Cosmetics at Ulta. Okay, so if you watch my channel, this also will come to no surprise to you. And this is my favorite eyeliner ever, ever, high and low and ever. It is the Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner in Midnight Master. This is the black one. It is black as night. It is dark, and I love it. Um, I like it also because it is a retractable eyeliner. It's not a pencil eyeliner. I don't need to sharpen it. And I prefer these because I have very sensitive water lines, and if I put anything harsh on my water line, I will just start crying, and it just hurts, and uh, I'm not a fan. So that's why this eyeliner is perfect for me because it is very, very creamy, but I find it still stays on my waterline. It doesn't smudge everywhere. It doesn't like get too slippery where it's like down your face by the end of the day. It stays put, but it's creamy so it glides on easily. Okay, so this one is a little bit random, but I love it so much. And um, the day I run out of this, I will go run out and buy it. It is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Stormy Pink. This is my favorite drugstore lipstick ever, which is weird because um, I rarely use it in my videos, but when I worked at the NYX, I wore it every single day to work. This is the perfect pink because it's not too dark, it's not too bright, it's not nude by any means, it's like very much pink, like kind of like the pink you see in the tube, but it applies a little bit softer. I love the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks because they don't have a scent and they just are really, really comfortable on my lips. They're one of my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. Besides my Wet n Wild and my Milani ones, they're just really good. And this color is so beautiful. I've heard people say that it is a dupe for Max Pink Nouveau. Pink Nouveau. I don't know how to say that one. I don't know because I don't have that lipstick, but I love it. Okay, so this next product is so holy grail. So holy grail. It like burns in my chest when I talk about it. And it is the Physician's Formula. Shimmer Strip in the shade Miami Strip. This is my favorite highlighter ever. I, don't, I have a lot of highlighters. I am a highlighter junkie, and this is my favorite highlighter in the history of life. It's the highlighter I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Can you see it? Oh, look at that glow. Mm. Jennifer Lopez in a, in a little strip. Jennifer Lopez in a strip. I love everything about it. Physicians Formula is one of those brands that I rarely go for at the drugstore because it is a little bit on the pricier side of the drugstore, but this is definitely worth the money I paid for it. I love it because you could just swirl your brush around in all the colors and then apply it that way, or you can just um, use it in different sections and have a bunch of different colors. If you're a little bit deeper in skin tone, all you have to do is use these, and if you're a little bit more fair, all you have to do is use these on this side. So this is the kind of um, strip that will work for like every skin tone, honestly. Okay, so my next product is um, a liquid eyeliner, and it is from NYC. It is their just regular basic liquid eyeliner. My packaging has like rubbed off the letters, so I'm not exactly sure what this is called. It's just, I think it's just NYC liquid eyeliner. Yep. I have mine in black. I don't know if it comes in a bunch of different shades, but this is the best liquid eyeliner ever. Like when it comes to a brush tip, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. It dries super, super matte. I love a very matte eyeliner look. I don't like the whole black glossy look. I like it very matte. It dries so matte. It's really easy to do a wing. This is the eyeliner I have on my eyes right now. The only thing I don't like is that it can get a little messy because it's so pigmented and like inky. Does that make sense? Inky? It's a little inky, so sometimes it'll come on my eyelashes. But it is user-friendly. It's easy to use, and it's so easy to do that little flick. And for just a couple dollars, 
I can look past that little issue. Okay, so I have two more things to share with you. Technically, the one I'm about to share with you is number 10, but I have an honorable mention that I want to talk about. So my last product, technically, are the Maybelline Color Tattoos. These things are incredible. They are the best cream eyeshadows I have ever come across at the drugstore. They're even better to me than MAC Paint Pots. They remind me a lot of MAC Paint Pots, but I will always choose these over MAC Paint Pots because they're so much cheaper, so I don't find the point. The only thing is that I wish they would come out with like a dupe for MAC Soft Ochre and a dupe for MAC Painterly Paint Pot. They have come out with matte cream shades before, but they're limited edition and then they just take them away from us. But these two are my favorite ones. This one is Bad to the Bronze and it's just that a beautiful bronze color, but it has a lot of taupiness to it. So it's like a very taupey bronze color. And then this one is Pomegranate Punk and it's a beautiful cranberry purple with a golden un undertone. This one is just a little bit patchy on the lids, so you have to kind of work with it in layers. But once you do, it's beautiful. This one in Bad to the Bronze is so creamy and goes on so easily that you can just wear it alone or underneath eyeshadows. You can wear all of them alone or underneath eyeshadows as a base. They don't crease, they prime your eyelids, and they last all day. I cannot recommend these enough. Okay, and so my honorable mention are the e.l.f. brushes because I think they're great brushes at the drugstore, specifically these two. Don't get me wrong, there's some e.l.f. brushes that to me suck, like completely suck. But um, the majority of the studio line really has worked for me and I love these two the most. I love them just as much as my high-end brushes. This is the e.l.f. complexion brush and this is the e.l.f. small tapered brush. I love this for setting my under eye concealer. It's beautiful, I love it. And it's also a great highlighting brush. And then this one is great for bronzer because it kind of, it's a paddle kind of br brush. So it's nice to do like a very soft contour and just like bronze your whole face with it. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were my top 10 like must-have drugstore makeup products. Do not forget to go check out Amelia's version of this video where she will talk about her favorite drugstore makeup products. So it's like 20 products. The more the merrier, right? The more drugstore products, the better. So definitely go check out her video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are coming from Amelia's channel, I hope you stay a while and I hope you subscribe. It gets a little nuts on my channel, but it's all in good fun. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! What? Go water in the drink. Oopsies, I didn't do the I forgot. So I want to talk about a found talk about a found that I sound super super Cuban right there. If you have a lot of problem areas, like if you had a lot you have a lot of act you, what am I saying? What'd you do? You hear me? It's good. It's a great bronzer, very flush flush. Wait, I forgot to say hi. What's up?